Interstate 49. It's the first incomplete uh, two-section or more than two-section interstate that we have covered. We see Interstate 49 is going to replace US 90 here in southern Louisiana. I-49 as it currently exists right now is in multiple sections in Louisiana, Arkansas, and Missouri, but will ultimately go from New Orleans to Kansas City, as is the plan. So today, we are talking about just the southern section of I-49. Just this part here is what we're going to be talking about today. You're watching Control City Freak. This is the YouTube channel where we talk about interstate highways and the places that they are assigned to go to. Please subscribe! It'd be awesome to get 49 new subs for I-49. All right, we're going to talk about northbound I-49, but we're actually not going to start where I-49 starts. We're going to start where it will start, down here in New Orleans. We see the Superdome there in the background. I-49 is going to replace US-90 down here, from what I understand. And once we get to Business 49, we'll now be on Mississippi River Bridge, Gretna. Uh, might also say West Bank. I'd imagine West Bank would probably be the control city there. And we see the Superdome again here. I remember the last time I was in New Orleans, I drove down this road with, with my buddy and uh, we saw this street name. I am not going to attempt to pronounce it, but his response is, oh man, seeing that street name is just making me more hungover. So future 49 will cross the Crescent City connection here, this uh, nice cantilever bridge over the Mississippi. These sorts of bridges get kind of a bad rap. I actually think these kinds of bridges are pretty cool. Future northbound I-49 will cross this bridge to the west bank, but it will be going east before making a major turn south. So all kinds of stuff going on. Here's what it looks like in the west bank soon after the short Business 90 freeway ends becomes a uh, local expressway. Once you're down there in the West Bank, the control city for westbound US 90 becomes Raceland. And then once it hits there, the control city for west US 90 and future North 49 becomes Morgan City. I'm not sure if 49 will continue these same control cities, but I imagine they'll use Lafayette eventually as the control city, as that's the real first major place that uh, 49 hits after New Orleans. Here is US 167, also the Evangeline Thruway, going through Lafayette, Louisiana, and we see this 2, 10, and 49 signs here. Uh, this is where 49 eventually will be placed from what I have read. And this city street soon becomes an expressway, later becomes sort of a freeway right here. Uh, we see, interestingly, the sign says Junction 10. It doesn't say Junction 49, even though officially we haven't actually met 49 yet. But uh, Louisiana Dot is treating this like we are already on I-49, thus only Junction 10, Baton Rouge, Lake Charles. Here is our intersection with I-10. It's a clover leaf, and we are now on 49 North Opelousas. I don't know about that. That doesn't seem to be a great choice, I'm sure. I, I would have imagined it would have been Shreveport or Alexandria, maybe, but... Eh. And after leaving the Lafayette metro area, we get a mileage sign with Opelousas as the primary control city, and it's only 11 miles away. So, I mean, it's a small place, not so famous of a place, also very close. It seems to be, you know, they, they could have done better on this choice. Again, Nothing against the great people there. I'm just talking about signs. Within Opelousas, we are now on 49 North Alexandria. So that's not too much of a surprise. Uh, Alexandria is not gonna be skipped over if Opelousas is not gonna be skipped over. And we get Alexandria 60 miles away. Louisiana doesn't tend to like control cities that are much farther than, you know, 60, 70 miles away. As we approach Alexandria, we get a nice overhead sign, but basically just a through traffic kind of situation. We do not get a control city listed here. However, if we look at US 167 joining in here, 
It is North 49 Shreveport, so no surprise. And Shreveport is a cool 97 miles away. Wow, that is quite far for a Louisiana control city since they like to put them so close together. As we approach Shreveport, I thought this was really weird. I wonder if they've changed this, but we have uh, Louisiana 3132 to Dallas to Texarkana. If you wanted to continue on I-49, this is actually the exit to get off at. This is the fastest way to move on. And also they're saying it's the faster way for westbound I-22 since it says to Dallas. But there's no signs anywhere saying 49 through traffic, follow this, only the control cities. Here is where we meet I-20, closer to downtown Shreveport, and we get 20 signed for Dallas and Monroe. Going straight will put you on Pete Harris Drive or Murphy Street. And see, there's just that small, not overhead sign saying 2 North 49, follow this way. Kind of weird how they do that. And we see 2 North 49, follow westbound 20. On 20, on westbound 20, we meet 220 East, so we get a 2 North 49 there as well, since we do have this gap. I'm honestly not sure why there is the gap. It seems like maybe if they upgrade this 3132, they could have signed that whole thing as I-49 and, and been done with it. You have a complete interstate through the state of Louisiana, other than the southern part. And here is where 220 meets 49. So now we are now getting 49 North Texarkana. Wow out of state sign for Louisiana. That's that's pretty rare. Although we did see it for Dallas too. And we see the usual not huge distance, Texarkana 58. I think they're signing Texarkana because there's not too much in the way of Louisiana towns left before you get into Arkansas here. And welcome to Arkansas, the natural state. We return to Arkansas. Here in the Texarkana area, we have some pretty cool signs. I think Arkansas does a good job, as I mentioned. We got this 259 Dallas Houston, 49 north to 30, Little Rock and Fort Smith. And when I saw that, I thought to myself, wow, that is a lot of population on that sign. That's got to be the most population on any sign in Arkansas uh, and in most places. Dallas and Houston on the same sign like that, that's going to be bigger than almost any sign other than, you know, to New York or to Los Angeles. Now we meet I-30 and 49 is now signed for Ashdown and Fort Smith as Arkansas always likes to put two control cities on there. It does not actually currently reach either, though, but I do like Arkansas signing the places that it will eventually go to. Now we have US-71 for Texarkana, Ashdown, Fort Smith, one mile, and this is the current end of I-49 at this interchange. And we see it's not really that much of an interchange. The road narrows, we get the sign for that, and now we are forced onto the exit ramp, and now we reach US-71. So Texarkana left, Fort Smith right. Interestingly, this is Texarkana, Arkansas right here, but when you get over to here to actual US-71, you're in Texas. Uh, there is no welcome to Texas sign though, the, the state line is right around here. All right, let's take a look at southbound I-49, southern section of. So here we are on US-71 again, just barely into Texas, and we get a Junction 49 sign, and we see the sign is for Little Rock Shreveport. So they're signing Little Rock right away. And now we are on I-49 in Texarkana, and wow, this sign has even more population than the last one. We got Houston, Shreveport, Hope, Little Rock, Texarkana, Dallas. That's gotta be the highest population of any sign in Arkansas, if you're keeping score of that sort of thing. And here we get South 49 for Shreveport, 259 for Houston. So Houston is actually kind of treated as the main control city on this part 49 instead of Shreveport. But then again, Houston is the much bigger place. Welcome to Louisiana. And here we approach Shreveport again, and 49 is going to end here at 220. We see 249 South Alexandria follow West 220. Interestingly though, this interchange does not look like it's built to have a road continue past it. So again, it just seems like the more natural thing would be to loop 49 around Shreveport. Here is where 220 meets 20 again, where you would have to get on 20 east to continue on I-49. 
Although no signage for that. Kind of strange. Maybe I missed one somewhere. Still no signage as we get to 20 from 220 here. And once we are on 20, eventually we do get 49 South Alexandria. So just the control city we thought it would be here. Interestingly, in Alexandria, we are now signed for 49 South Lafayette. So we're skipping uh, Opelousas here. Although Opelousas is signed on the 167 junction with I-49. On the mileage signs, they go with three cities instead of two. So they're signing Opelousas as the secondary and Lafayette as the primary. And see, as you can see there, Lafayette only 18 miles further. So seems weird to have a control city that's 18 miles away from another one. And here we meet I-10. And this is where I-49 currently ends. And so we shall end there too, where 49 currently ends. So let's take a look at Todd's the way it should be for the southern part of I-49. I'm going to say northbound 49 should be Homa Lafayette, maybe West Bank first, that's, that's fine. Uh, Homa Lafayette, then Lafayette, Alexandria, Shreveport, Texarkana, Fort Smith, and southbound 49, Texarkana, Shreveport, Alexandria, Lafayette, and New Orleans. Thank you so much for watching Control City Freak. My name is Todd, and I really appreciate your viewership. Soon we will get to the northern part of I-49, so that'll be fun. Thanks a lot, and keep on trucking.